We're here at the White Chapel Gallery for Katja Novitskova's new exhibition, which opens today. Yes. It's um, it's quite creepy. Yes, it's very creepy. And the main body of the exhibition has got some up and down movie bits. Tell us about those. I made a bunch of sculptures with moving uh, electronic baby rockers. And um, and kind of the origin of that was like I want to make a robotic like artwork like kind of use robotic um, machines as sculptures and I don't want to be looking like people I don't want like a Terminator I don't want like a Japanese uh, cute welcome robot I don't want a drone I need like to find something that is really eerie and different and more like looks like an animal or looks something like mysterious. I read like aliens in a bit of the bio as well. I don't know if you knew, but last night there was a full moon and it's yeah. called the strawberry full moon, which hasn't really got anything to do with the colour, it's more to yeah. do with harvesting. But yeah. at the same time that it was in the sky, Saturn was visible yeah. at the same time, along with then Jupiter and Venus. Nice. And if you stayed up late enough, Mars would yeah. have probably come out as well. Yeah, I'm an astronomy nerd, so I love all this stuff. I used to have like a baby telescope when I was a baby, and I used to look at all these things and traveling through space. There can be like almost slime storms, the way that sort of stars collapse and let out gases and stuff. It kind of creates a bit of a mist and a film. And if you travel to one, there's a, there's a moon on Saturn that's kind of spraying out loads of water Europa. right now. Yeah, yeah. And to get into that orbit, you have to kind of use windscreen wipers. Yeah. But then at the same time, because of what it's expelling, there's a, there's a definite chance that there could be life forms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in definitely. There. I I did a work about like this alien astrobiology uh, kind of speculations a little bit like and um, basically my one show was about how like a rover is landing on the on a planet or like on a comet or a planet like that with like alien life forms and then uh, gradually people lose contact with the rover with the spacecraft and then it just like blends with the local life forms and becomes this mutant thing so I'm into these things. And well, that could be happening right now, because on Mars, the yeah. probe, um, yeah, exactly. there's a big dust storm, and it's solar-powered, so it's kind of shut down right yeah. now. Or has it? Maybe like, it's adapted. It exactly? Yeah, we don't even know. Maybe, so maybe, maybe it's just like, I don't need you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it just went and is doing its own thing. Yeah, it's blending Or maybe in. somebody just took it. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's made this even more exciting. So I'm, I'm into these things, and so part of this, part of these machine sculptures are even informed by this kind of aesthetic. And uh, I love the rovers. I love how goofy they look like, and <laughs> and that they have potentiality to like escape. I like that they we have no control over them. They can just, if they want to go somewhere, they can go somewhere. Yeah. And we just lose it, and they're just going to be roving around. Yeah. Well, if we want that information, yeah. then we need something to evolve when it gets to the space. Yeah, we can't exactly. program what we don't know. So exactly. if they get there and then they understand it. Uh, yeah, and something happens, some sort of, uh, you know, divine uh, spark happens, then it's like, it might happen. As an artist, are you always making new work? Are you constantly thinking and jotting down new things and working on new exhibition ideas, even when you've got an well, exhibition up and running? Well, it's kind of like even installing this existing work is still like, um, every time I'm trying something new, so like the part of thinking about new work is during working with the existing work. Um, and um, but because I've been showing kind of the same work three times in the last 12 months, I haven't had like a time to start completely from a blank slate, and that's what I'm kind of missing now. So uh, I just need to um, kind of you know forget about this, no matter how good it is, and just try to um, try to imagine a new you know some some sort of completely new situation. With all these cable covers, I think um, you could go to a festival now and be like, hey, guys, I've got all this stuff. You could yeah. probably supply Glastonbury with the amount of, of no, I'm equipment gonna you have. I'm going to travel with them. I'm going to keep them. I'm not throwing them away. I'm not giving them away to anyone. Okay, so Michael Evis, <laughs> keep your hands off.